All right, welcome back. We are in a new 500 kilo challenge, although this is <laughs> this is a little different. So this one clocks in at 337 kilo, and that's because I threw everything at it I could. It's got one room. That's it. It's just got a single room. Uh, it's actually a bit of a meme build. I call it Gypsy Wagon because I was tearing down the blimpy 2 uh, because I'm going to try to build something different something completely unique and I got down to the single room which you have to because you have to have an anchor then I put the just out of giggles I I did the railings that delete the X's and I'm like hmm what can I do with this let me turn my lights down here for the quote water cooler and then I just kept playing with it and playing with it, and it turned out to be this just hilarious meme build that's actually really cool. It has six t all 16 of the boxes that I had. They're all up there, every single one of them except for that one that has all the equipment. It has almost all... If you look here, this is all that I had remaining from there. So it's got, looks like, 9 of 15... Got a lot of water collection. You got those and you got these. Very cool. Added some posters in. Still has the three engines. Still has two turbines. Still has the automated catcher. I can place the pretty much any of the equipment I want. The only thing I have to do is I have to remove the steering stick. It's just because there's some added collision around the steering handles that we can't see but is there like you see I can't get any closer than where I'm at so it actually comes out maybe closer to here if it didn't do that I'd be able to fit something right here perfectly fine and then and that includes the upgrade station so yeah I, I everything there's everything in the kitchen sink it is it is quite literally a gypsy wagon man it's got all kinds of stuff got our little guy we can sit down here and sit with him and he's got plants all around him just like home got a nice uh, place to sit over here and watch the watch it forever rain I can get to any of these from up here just go through the whole number get to any of them without even trying it's very very functional the railings, I didn't really need them, but they actually look good because they look like they're holding up the upper deck. It actually looks, instead of just being cantilevered out, it looks like they're holding it up. And that, I think it works really well. Just the functionality of it looks really well. I did have to consolidate. So this was the one you saw on the right side, and the, quote, new ones and the boosters uh, were all down here in this little one now because I couldn't fit two of the big ones. I had two of the big ones, but I couldn't fit a bunch of other stuff. And man, there's a lot to fit in this very small space. And there's another thing I found out is the bed has extra collision that we can't see. So the bed actually comes up right to here. I You, you would say, oh, well, it's because that has a straight line. Yeah, maybe. But it comes all the way to there, which means I couldn't even get these in line appropriately to, and then bring this down appropriately because everything is just in the way of everything else. So I've got it all jammed in here. Even got posters on the ceiling. We got tons of water to feed our systems, to feed our fresh water systems. Speaking of, let's take a little drinky. I couldn't get that down far enough to make it, you know, centered on that like I normally do. That's my little signature art piece. But it works. And all of this function, it flies great. The, uh, got our charger up here. Still got a docking plank. I like the way the lights work. It's, it's you know, you get your blue in your front. But then in here, you got a more cozy, warm tone to it. I like it. It's uh, it's very cool, but this this is just a, a real short tour because uh, I'm going to be tearing this down and trying to build this 
hopefully interesting and super experimental build that I'm going to be working on. I'll do another behind the scenes for. It's going to take me several episodes because it's really going to be difficult. It's a big use of disentanglement on the next build. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.